We hear a lot about organics and sustainable products every day. But here's one you might not have thought of before. Guitars. Let's go see how they make them. Welcome to Taylor Guitars in El Cajon, California. Acoustic and electric guitars line the walls in every color of the rainbow. But underneath it all, they're all green. We're talking green as in eco-friendly. We've written a responsible timber policy here at Taylor Guitars, and we also have a, a floor policy, um, which addresses the forest floor and how we will continue to sustain that, that environment for the villages and work with them to continue that process. Whether it's getting the wood from forests in Central America or making masterpieces back at the shop, these guitars were made with a thought for the planet every step of the way. The top is two pieces and it's considered a book match top. Chris Wellens has spent nearly 20 years here. My first job was actually working in the milling department, cutting various pieces of wood for the guitars. Now he's VP of manufacturing and he's giving us a factory tour. So what we've done with this chunk of wood is we've cut it and removed it from this end. We've milled it to a smaller size. This is where the three heels of the neck will come from. Guitar manufacturing has come a long way. New technology and better design help save resources. We were taking one block of wood and we would cut two necks out of that block of wood. Through this process of the NT or new technology neck, we increased our yield by 33% and now we're able to, to get three necks out of the same size block of wood. Um, that's made a huge impact on not only the yield and the wood usage, but also the sustainability at the forest level. It all starts with the source, and that's tone wood. That is, wood used to make musical instruments. Woods are available. It, it's our responsibility to procure those woods legally and, uh, and do it responsibly. Taylor sources much of its wood from Central America. So this is an example of the, the mahogany lumber that we procure from Central America. Um, it comes to us in this rough form. It's kiln dried. And what we do here at Taylor Guitars is take this lumber, mill it down to a smaller size four by four uh, square lumber, smooth on each, each side, and then we'll actually resaw this into the three pieces of the neck wood that we saw on that guitar earlier. Mahogany is widely popular around the world, but it's been over harvested through the years, so some varieties are commercially extinct. Taylor is using other methods to obtain it. Yes, it's actually started with us using dead mahogany trees and seeing if we could remove those from the forest and utilize them for a source of, of neck wood, along with a variety of other parts that go inside the guitar. Guitar makers know it's vital to sustain their main resource, so Taylor and three other manufacturers are all part of the Greenpeace Music Wood Coalition. Its goal is to change logging practices. The purpose of the, the Music Wood Coalition is to actually go to the forest and see it. Um, one thing that many of us don't know is they'll go in and clear cut an entire forest trying to get specific trees and what they're doing is cutting down everything in the process. What we're looking to do is get Sitka spruce out of the forest and let other trees grow. Helping villages sustain their economies is also a priority. We are paying the villages specifically for their work and their value added work versus paying a third, fourth, and fifth party where one, one vendor or one corporation would go onto the ground, clear cut the entire area, and then produce parts or pieces out of that lumber and then sell it all over the world. Back in the factory, it's showtime. They use precise lasers and efficient design to get the most out of every piece of lumber. They take this portion here and they cut multiple truss rod covers out of it, okay. which is used to cover the truss rod opening on the peg head of the, of the guitar. Okay. Whereas in years past, this would have just ended up being thrown away. And check this out. Utilizing the laser, we've increased our yield because look at the laser line here. It's very small and we're not just throwing wood away with every pass of the cut of a table saw. We're able to utilize this entire piece and get two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 pieces out of this versus more than likely six if we cut this on a table saw. Tracking where wood is sourced from is also an important part of the process. What they're doing is working on barcoding all the lumber, um, actually taking photographs of the tree that they're cutting and barcoding each stick or each log or piece of lumber coming from that tree 
and then coding it and tracking it up for us so we can actually track that barcode back to the tree that it was cut from. So from sourcing sustainable wood and helping villages to reducing waste and recycling, Taylor's giving new meaning to what it means to be a guitar hero. This mahogany guitar sounds great. And who would have known that it's made sustainably too? Something to think about next time you're strumming a tune. Thank you very much.